Hello my pretties! Welcome to another cooking rodeo with the Tater Cowgirls. Actually Tater Cowgirl 1 is already uh, at a sleepover so she's not gonna be here but I have a good recipe for you. So I love to bake bread and uh, Tony Wolf the the riding in the no not riding driving instructor from Addy at, in the hitch team at the Dream Power hitch team, she is making her no need bread and uh, I saw a recipe from her on Facebook, and uh, it's the one where you have to uh, wait 13 hours I think to proof the dough and it takes two days to make the bread and. Uh, so the main ingredient of the bread is what we call in Germany Geduld, patience. And I have to say Geduld is not one of my strengths. And so when I saw that recipe on the internet, it's called fast, schnell, need, no need bread. I thought that's my one. And I will link to the, to the owner of the recipe. Uh, she has a website. I think it's called, let me see, Jenny Can Cook. She has that recipe and I will link to her. She's the originator, not me, okay? I'm not taking credit for it, but I'm happy that there is one that goes schnell and I don't have to, to uh, learn to have geduld, patience. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> It does have proofing time, of course, so it's not going to be in 10 minutes done, but at least you get it done in one, in one day. Okay, first of all, before we start, uh, make sure you have a Le Cloche, or a bread pot, a ceramics bread pot, or what I have here, a really heavy cast iron Dutch oven. I mean, this is the real thing. That's my, my husband's darling. He takes that to camping, too. So this is a cast iron of Dutch oven. This goes uh, in the oven in a 450 degree oven. It takes about 30 minutes in my oven to heat the oven that much. So keep that in mind, okay? Now we start uh, with the bread. We need three cups of whole wheat pastry flour or you can even take all-purpose flour and um, bread flour mix whatever you you want I take whole wheat pastry flour three cups I have a quarter cup of uh, active dry yeast just a quarter cup don't put the whole thing in it's a no need bread, okay? And um, we have a teaspoon, uh, a quarter cup, a quarter teaspoon yeast, not a quarter cup. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> okay, then uh, we need, let me put it down. Let's see my bowl. Yeah, that works. Then we need um, uh, a teaspoon salt, sea salt. Put that in. And now is the trick uh, the one and a half cup of spring water. Put it in here. Let's put it in two minutes. So, first of all, you don't take tap water, you take purified water or spring water. I have the, the only water I drink in this house, everybody drinks is the Fiji water because. Um, it sucks out the aluminum of your body. Um, it has special properties, Fiji water, just like Volvic is another one. Uh, and they uh, actually help prevent Alzheimer's. And um, I believe in it, so I buy one of those waters. Um, anyway, so let's. The, the difference to the no need bread that takes 13 hours to prove is that the water is hot. Please do not have boiling water. We need hot water, but not boiling water. Let's see how it is. Ah, it can be a little bit harder. Oops, let's do it a little bit harder. 
maybe one and a half minute in the microwave you know like that not bubbling hot boiling water just hot water let's just wait for that Okay, and uh, I love making bread. Uh, you, for this bread, this is the basic recipe. You can add uh, whatever you want to add to your bread though. I, I will add a few caraway seeds. I like caraway seeds in my bread, but you can do anything you want, uh, you know, like nuts or whatever, or, or pumpkin seeds or whatever you like in your bread. boiling it's just hot and first we mix the yeast and the salt and the uh, flour a little bit okay so we put the water in just mix it until we have everything combined I find the spatula the plastic spatula the best for that to do so it's kind of a sticky Un unusual though it's not looking like a normal bread though I can tell you but this is uh, the wonders of the no knead bread and I really like the idea of <laughs> not having to knead it I fell last weekend and I think I cracked one of my ribs I, I picked up Eddie from school and I fell in one of the holes on the street they have new construction there and there are lots of the street looks like Swiss cheese <laughs> and I fell in uh, I, I think I cracked the rib it really hurts on this side so I'm glad I don't have to knead um, of course cowgirls don't cry <laughs> didn't go to the doctor it, it, it heals by itself they can't do anything about it anyway okay so here it is nicely combined as you can see stuff in it and it is sticky yep okay. this is our first step now now I have to have a little bit geduld patience because uh, all we do here is wrapping it in saran where is my saran and let it stand for three hours in room temperature nothing else needed okay three hours room temperature we're done all right and I see you when the oven is hot 450 the, the cast iron pot will be in the oven hot as hell and uh, we will take the we will uh, continue with our bread okay see you in three hours hello we are back so um, my dough uh, proofed for three hours look at it it's kind of jiggly blistery and uh, that's just quite right so what we do is um, we put flour on the surface of our work surface and on our hands and I gotta say while I while I was waiting for the dough proofing I watched the uh, Bavaria Munich Borussia Dortmund soccer game 
and woohoo! Five zero for Bavaria Munich. Lewandowski, woohoo! And uh, I had two Baileys on ice <laughs> with my Bayern fans. I'm a big Bayern Munich fan, and uh, I had to celebrate. Anyway, uh, we put the the dough on the surface. Just put it on there like this. And remember, it's not an we are not kneading, okay? It's the name of this dough is no knead bread for a reason. Okay. Put a little bit more flour on the surface of the dough. In our hands. Then you need a scratch. Of course, I couldn't find a scratch because somebody borrowed it on my... So what you do is you fold it over, fold it over, I have like a, a butcher knife which does the same trick, fold it over, fold it over about 10 times, fold it over again, fold it over again. Oh, I want to put a, a little, a few caraway seeds in there. So I do this now by folding it over. Okay. I'm gonna keep a few on in there for the top. Okay. And now what we do now is um, um, we use parchment paper, put it in a bowl. Here I have my nice cheese spatzel bowl. I put parchment paper in there. I shape my, my bread bowl kind of like a bread. <laughs> I like to make some kind of uh, square incisions. How it looks like. And we put a kitchen towel over it. And again, proofing for 30 minutes. And then we are done for today. We are done proofing for today but once we have that. Uh, hold on. I'll make sure my oven is make sure your oven is 450 degrees with the pot inside. And we do 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes oven, 30 minutes proofing under the towel. Let's put it up here a little. All right, under my towel. On the parchment paper in the bowl, 30 minutes proofing. Oven is 450 and the, the um, pot is in there. So make sure the pot is in there and hot. Okay, this is it. And I'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay, people, I'm back. Um, we have 
I have proofed the dough for 30, min 30 more minutes under a towel. Uh, and we are getting now the um, cast iron Dutch oven out of the hot 450 Fahrenheit oven. Make sure you don't burn yourself. Ooh, that's heavy. One heavy pot. Okay. So what we do now, you see that, let me just put you in the right perspective here. So what I do now is, I take the lid off the oven, uh, the Dutch oven. Ooh, hot, hot. And I put the whole thing in with the parchment paper. I put my, put my bread in. I close the oven. Dutch oven. I close the Dutch oven. Put it back in the oven at 450. heavy. I have to help here with one hand. Okay. And put it on 30 minutes. So 30 minutes in the oven and then uh, I will take it out Take the lid off and put it another 15 minutes in the oven. You won't see it. When we talk again, it will be ready to cool, okay? So 30 minutes in the oven with the lid. Then you take the parchment out, uh, remove the lid and let it another 15 minutes in the oven at 450. That makes it crunchy outside. All right, see you later. All right, the moment of truth. The bread is done. I take it out of the oven now. I had it in 30 minutes with lit and then 15 minutes without lit and without parchment paper. Okay, there we go. Let's get it in. Turn off the oven. The thing is so heavy. I think I just take it out like this. Oh, it looks nice. Look my bread, look my bread. Woohoo! Yeah, hear it? How, cr how nice and crunchy it is. That's the 15 minutes without lit. That's where you get the crunchiness. So I let it uh, cool on my um, on my little rack here, and uh, then we will see. I think I had the water a little bit too hot. It could have risen a little bit more, but uh, next time I know I only put the water in the microwave one minute and not one and a half. I should do it. Let me see where my bread, bread, bread knife is. Should I, should I cut it? It's hot, but I want to cut it. I want to try it. Oh, cuts nice. Not easy, not hard to cut. Ooh, but hot still, of course. Mm. Mm. See the bottom, how nice the bottom is? Mm. Very good. Mmm. Look at Mmm. So this worked. It's good. I like the, the caraway seeds in them. Look at it. 
How easy. How easy is it for you to good bread, fast, no need bread. I think that's a good recipe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next week. Okay? Bye.